This video provides a proof of concept demonstration of a large range XY nano positioning system. In this view, we are looking at the underside of this nano positioning system to reveal all its physical components as well as system layout and assembly. Several innovations in this system layout make it physically capable of achieving nanometric motion quality over a 10 millimeter motion range in both directions. Motion quality here implies the resolution, accuracy, and repeatability of motion. Let us now go over all the components of this system. Please note the X and Y directions as marked by these axes. At the heart of the XY hypernap is a novel flexure bearing design. This flexure bearing makes use of a highly symmetric geometry that is generated by means of a systematic layout of double parallelogram flexure building blocks. The outer frame provides the ground for the flexure bearing and the entire nano positioning system. At the center is the motion stage that moves along the X and Y directions. Additionally, there are four intermediate stages, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and stage 4 that help with the task of sensing and actuation. This unique arrangement of rigid stages and flexure building blocks provides a very high degree of decoupling between the two axes in the XY hypernap. This in turn allows a large unconstrained motion range along one direction without affecting or being affected by motion in the other direction. Because of the decoupling between the two axes, this flexure bearing results in a parallel kinematic configuration for the system which allows for ground-mounted actuators. But even more importantly, this design provides excellent actuator isolation, which means that single-axis large-stroke actuators can be used. Consequently, voice coil actuators are chosen in this case. The X actuator is mounted between ground and stage 1 and the Y actuator is mounted between ground and stage 2. As will be seen shortly, the two actuators do not feel the presence of each other which is a key enabler for large motion range. Another important challenge that has impeded the development of multi-axis large range nano positioning systems is sensing technology. The sensor for each axis needs to provide large measurement range high resolution and precision and has to be tolerant to displacement along the other direction. The unique design of the XY hypernap flexure bearing allows us to employ a combination of existing sensors to effectively achieve all these sensing objectives. For the x-axis, a linear encoder measures the x-displacement of stage 1 with respect to ground and a capacitance probe measures the x-displacement of the motion stage with respect to stage 1. Thus, an absolute measurement of the X displacement of the motion stage is achieved. The same arrangement is then repeated for the Y axis. The signals collected from these sensors are fed back to a microcontroller that runs an advanced control algorithm. The microcontroller outputs command signals to the actuator drivers which are low noise linear servo amplifiers. The XY hypernap thus operates in a closed loop mode. The next set of videos show the XY hypernap under an X actuation only. The motion command to the X actuator will be raised incrementally. At this point, the motion stage exhibits an X displacement range of 1 mm peak to peak. The X displacement range is now increased to 3 mm. The X displacement range is further increased to 5 mm. Next, the X displacement range of the motion stage is raised to 7 mm peak to peak. This view shows a close up of the motion stage and the arrangement of the capacitance probes. Finally, the X displacement range of the motion stage is raised to 10 mm peak to peak. The X actuator applies a force in the X direction on stage 1. 
This force produces an X displacement at stage 1, all of which is transmitted to the motion stage and stage 3. It is very important to note that the X actuation force does not produce any motion at stage 4 as well as stage 2. Consequently, the X direction actuation does not have any effect whatsoever on the Y actuator which shows the excellent actuator isolation in this design. It is also evident that the X actuation produces only an X displacement at the motion stage and no Y displacement, highlighting the decoupling between the two axes. As far as the sensing scheme is concerned, an X-axis optical encoder is used to measure the X displacement of stage 1 with respect to ground, and a capacitance probe is used to measure the X displacement of the motion stage with respect to stage 1. A combination of these two sensors provides an absolute measurement of the X displacement of the motion stage with respect to ground, and a similar arrangement is repeated along the Y axis. Let us now look at the XY hypernap system as it operates under a purely Y axis actuation. The motion stage is currently moving in the Y direction with a displacement of 3 mm peak to peak. The Y displacement is now increased to 7 mm peak to peak. The Y actuator generates a force on stage 2 in the Y direction. This results in a Y displacement of stage 2, all of which is transmitted to the motion stage and stage 4. Stage 1 is not affected at all as a result of the Y actuation and the same holds true for stage 3. Furthermore, the X actuator sees no influence of the Y actuation and the resulting Y displacements, which yet again illustrates the excellent actuator isolation in the system. It is also important to note that the Y actuation produces only a Y displacement at the motion stage and no X displacement. In this next video, the XY hypernap is seen operating under the influence of both X and Y actuation simultaneously. Each actuator is producing a peak-to-peak -peak displacement of 7 mm. Since the two actuators are commanded to be out of phase by 90 degrees, the resulting path of the motion stage is a 7 mm diameter circle. We are currently looking at the two capacitance probes in the system. Next, we shift the view to the Y-axis sensors. The Y optical encoder measures the Y displacement of stage 2 with respect to ground and the Y capacitance probe measures the Y displacement of the motion stage with respect to stage 2 despite the X displacement of the motion stage that happens simultaneously. Together these two sensors provide an absolute measurement of the Y displacement of the motion stage. We are now looking at the sensing arrangement in the X direction which is identical in principle and operation to the Y axis. This view shows a close up of the X actuator. Both actuators in the system are non contact voice coil actuators. The coils are attached to the ground in both cases while the permanent magnet is attached to stage 1 in the case of X actuator and to stage 2 in the case of the Y actuator. So far we have been looking at the underside of the XY hypernap which reveals all the system components. Let us now switch the view to the top side of the XY hypernap which shows the functional space provided by this nano positioner. In this video the motion stage at the center meant to carry the system payload is moving in a 5 mm circle and ultimately this range is increased to a 10 mm circle which shows the full range of the system in each direction.